Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Orbit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. 2023 is over, and it is time to wrap up all of the great strategy games that I've played this year. It's the turn of the tycoon game today, as we look at the best profit-making simulation and management games that keep you coming back for more. There's a bunch of other great games that have released in 2023, so check out all of my other videos highlighting the best of 2023 linked down in the description below or if you're looking for upcoming tycoon games then check out the video on screen right now uh, and also linked below now i've tried hard to sort only the best games that i've played that means i've played all of the games on this list. In total, I've played over 250 new releases in the strategy space over the course of the last year. Only the best of those make it onto the channel, and only the best of those in any given category make it onto this list. So this is the creme de la creme. I've tried to include only games that you can actually play on Steam right now, rather than demos, although there are a few truly exceptional demos that have made this list. I've also got a few bonus games and honorable mentions at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned until then. Onwards to the Tycoon games. This one was a real surprise smash hit for me, and one that came completely out of nowhere. I received an email from the developer, played the game, and pretty much immediately fell in love with the simplicity and the profit-making potential. I am, of course, talking about Acres, the farmyard management and crop tycoon game. Releasing into early access in October 2023, this game challenges you to run a farm and upgrade every bit of your farmyard equipment to help make even more profit. Build a farm one acre at a time to create a prosperous enterprise. Upgrade your equipment, optimize harvests, and nurture the soil against increasing time pressure. How long can you keep your farm operating? It is an unbelievably simple concept to get your head around, but it's just so darn fun to play. It's absolutely worthy of its spot at the top of this list, purely from its sheer simplicity. Absolutely check this one out if you like tycoon games or indeed upgrade games. You really can't go wrong. Of course, you just know that big ambitions had to be high up on this list. If you're interested in tycoon games, you quite simply have to check out this game. Big Ambitions is all about starting small in a big city with nothing and progressively building a bigger and bigger enterprise. There's so much freedom and flexibility to play the game your own way. What type of business will you start? What apartment are you going to live in? What type of car are you going to drive? All of these decisions and so many more are at your fingertips. It is just such a uniquely all-encompassing sandbox tycoon game and it all just works and feels great to play. Releasing into early access all the way back in March of 2023, uh, this one has been out for a while, received some remarkable reviews in that time, currently sitting at overwhelmingly positive. It's hard to find somebody who has a bad word to say about this game and I include myself in that. Uh, there's still so much potential to go as this one has an estimated year and a half more in early access. I can't wait. It's already great and I'm pretty confident it's gonna get even better. Don Duality is a mafia slash restaurant tycoon. Um, maybe a better way of putting it is that it is a money laundering tycoon game. On the face of it, you run a comfortable and unassuming restaurant. Underground, you've got your little lair where you have your gangsters, plan crimes, and hide from the cops. You need to balance your income of illicit, unlaundered cash with your heat meter. Try not to get noticed as your gangsters are out extorting people. Upgrade your restaurant to ensure that you can launder more and more and more money. More tables equals more customers, and more customers means more laundering. And we all love a little bit of money laundering. Honestly, this is just a great little management tycoon, and it's absolutely one of the best games that I've played this year. Uh, plus, I'm actually in the game. That's right, you can unlock me as a, as a customer in your restaurant. Fun little fact for you uh, right there. Either way, uh, check out my time with this game linked up in the top right-hand corner right now, and check out the game in the description as ever below. Sticking with an illicit theme, Definitely Not Fried Chicken is a game where you have to build up and run a drugs production and delivery operation. It's got this funky, blocky vibe to it, uh, but if you look below that, you'll find a pretty darned interesting tycoon game. Uh, not only do you have to grow and deliver your own product, but you need to set up your own stores to sell it in too. This is where the real money is made. Uh, you've got a bunch of options to choose from, a chicken store, hence the name of the game, a laundromat, and a whole bunch more. Research new strains of product, 
upgrade your options, there's just so many ways to achieve your objective of taking over the city. Released back in September of 2023, after a period in early access, uh, this game honestly shouldn't be as good as it is. Uh, it is a hearty recommendation from me uh, if you can stomach the subject matter. I'm going to uniquely start off my highlighting of this game by complaining about the tutorial. The tutorial in this game absolutely sucks. It sucks hard, uh, it takes absolutely ages, and it is just so unbelievably slow to get through. However, after you get through the glacial tutorial, this game is great. Galaxy Pass Station is a tycoon slash management game where you'll be tasked with building and expanding a space station for aliens, humans, and robots. Face off against extraterrestrials of all shapes and kinds, check their galactic credentials, automate your station's operations, and battle crime, monsters, fires, and parasitic creatures. Most importantly, save humanity from alien annihilation. It's basically Papers, Please, plus, you know, sort of heavy tycoon and management elements, and those are a combination that I think really works, and one that I'm absolutely here for. Uh, two thumbs up from me in that regard. Uh, this one is fully out, uh, it's playable now, it's got positive reviews uh, after releasing in September. If that darn tutorial length was sped up, um, it would be a near perfect tycoon game, at least in my opinion. A much more casual tycoon game in this one, EarthX is a rocket company management game. Go from launching small rockets on Earth to eventually building a colony on Mars. Create your own internet constellation, develop new technologies, supply the International Space Station, and terraform Mars. There's honestly so much that you get to do in this game. It is like a serious but casual Kerbal Space Program, just not as sort of granular on the rocket design. Although you, stu you still do get to uh, design rockets. There is still plenty of explosions, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, fairly obviously, this game is based on the sort of SpaceX rocket company and all the stuff they're doing, so expect to see a lot of similarities in the trajectory towards Mars. It's really rather good. Uh, this one started life in early access with basic rocket launching facilities and graduated into a fully fledged tycoon game with Mars as the end goal. An excellent tycoon game and a definite recommendation from me. Organs Please is a dark and satirical management sim where you take control of a recycling factory with a twist. It recycles humans. Your job is to decide who gets to escape our dying planet in a cozy spaceship and who sacrifices their blood, sweat, and tears for humanity. Quite literally. Uh, maybe slightly less of a tycoon game this one than a pure management sim. Uh, it's still an absolute corker of a title that honestly, it just hits a bit different. Uh, it's got a bunch of sort of Papers, Please-esque elements, but it's also got a sort of, you know, like Fallout Shelter style base building section too. So you're stamping and approving papers at the same time as you're moving workers around your base and producing a bunch of grisly byproducts from the corpses of humans that you don't want. Uh, it's not gory, but it's mad in a great way. Uh, Organs Please is now fully out after releasing in April of 2023, and I'd definitely recommend checking it out. In Potion Tycoon, you've got to build and manage your very own magic shop in this witchin' management simulator. Acquire resources, build and manage production lines, mix potions, and design bottles to sell them in your shop. Experiment with new recipes, grow your business, and become the leading potion business in the magical lands. This game covers the whole potion process, from brewing right up to selling, and you've got to use your sales skills to try and shift as many of your products as possible. I love the art style uh, in this one. It's a great little game. It's currently out now in early access, so more good things hopefully to come as this one continues to be developed. This might be the most random and weird one on this list, but Stonks 9800 is basically a Japanese salaryman simulator. It's a weird tycoon game that's themed around the daily decisions that you make in your life as a regular Joe working in an office. Buy a house, buy a car, invest in the stock market and watch the profits or losses roll on in. This is a very peculiar entry on the list, but I love weird games, I love new games, and this really is sort of 
very, very weird. Uh, without pushing the boundaries of what makes a game good, we're never going to get any good games. So I'm excited to actually, you know, have a look at a, at, a, at a unique title. Anyway, there's a free demo for this game that you can play before diving into the full experience, which honestly, I would advise you do because this is an acquired taste. It's currently in early access after releasing in July. It's currently sitting on a 97% positive review score, uh, which I think is absolutely justified. So yeah, check this one out if you think that this is something that you're interested in. And last but not least, we've got Seorama, World of Shipping. Start your own shipping company and make sure all your goods get to the correct port. Create your own trade routes across an expansive world map featuring 90 port locations. Each destination offers unique challenges and opportunities. Analyze market trends, factor in geopolitical events, and master the art of logistics to optimize your routes for maximum profitability and efficiency. Uh, there's not much to say about this one. This is just a really solid profit-making sim tycoon game. Um, and sometimes that's all you need to jump into a world filled with profit-making possibilities and make some cash. Uh, Seorama released very recently in December of 2023. You can check it out uh, linked down in the description. So that's the main list. Don't click away yet as I've got loads of cracking bonus games that didn't quite make my list, uh, but you should still absolutely check out. Before that though, let me know in the comments what you're interested in playing from this list or indeed perhaps another tycoon game that didn't make this list. Let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get to the bonus games. Much like Potion Tycoon, Magical Mixture Mill puts you in charge of an outpost that manufactures and sells potions. There's a bunch of really crafty and interesting automation in this game, uh, as well as a whole bunch of world exploring to do. It's uh, uh, honestly a really, really great little game. And if I had an 11th space on this list, uh, it would probably be filled with this game. Releasing in April of 2023, this title is still in early access. So expect bigger and better things as we head into the new year. I absolutely love this game, but unfortunately for this list anyway, it released in November of 2023. However, it is still in early access. Anyway, this is a tycoon game where you're in charge of a port. You've got to build up your operation, check the incoming traffic for bugs and pests, and you've got to feed a town that you are responsible for. And managing sort of all of those things is your job. Honestly, this is just a super solid and unique indie tycoon game. It's very cheap for what you get. Check this one out if you're interested in something a little bit different, but something that plays really, really well. Man, this is such a great game. News Tower launched a very brief but very cool playtest that I absolutely loved. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that counts as a demo and that allows me to stick it on this list. I can't wait to see more of this game in the year ahead. News Tower is basically a newspaper tycoon game crossed with Sim Tower. Uh, you have to build a business at the same time as building your tower, expand your printing operations, and cover all the stories that will sell papers and hopefully not get you killed. This is a strong, strong wishlist recommendation from me, uh, and I'd really advise that you keep an eye out for this one as it prepares to launch on the 13th of February, 2024. Dungeon Tycoon is another demo. However, this one you can play right now. It's a twist on the sort of traditional tycoon game as instead you're put in charge of building a dungeon to entertain adventurers. That means you have to build traps, you have to build potion vending machines, and you have to build monster spawners. You know, tell the monsters where to spawn. This demo gives you a pretty good sense of what the full game is going to look like. I'm really interested to see how this one turns out. Um, and you can check out the free demo uh, right now. I enjoyed my time with this one. I'd advise you, uh, you have a look. And last but not least for my bonus game section and honorable mention section, uh, this is Moose Miners, perhaps the weirdest and wackiest tycoon game on a list filled with some pretty weird games. <laughs> uh, it's a game where you control an army of moose, mooses, maces, I don't know. Anyway, you control an army of moose to mine out an expansive world of gems. Um, I, I, I don't really know how to say much more than that, but you upgrade stuff, you make money, you sell the gems, you, you get more mooses, you build more stuff. I, I, what can I say? I'm excited to see more. Uh, the demo is a great place to start with this one. Um, and if you enjoy it, consider wishlisting this one so you can be notified when it releases. 
So that's it, folks. I've got a whole bunch of other 2023 recaps coming up, so make sure you're subscribed for those. But until then, check out the Patreon page if indeed you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. And I will see you next time. Bye.